Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Nathan. Just want to say uh, good afternoon, good evening to everyone off the East West Coast. Hope you guys are enjoying your day today here on Monday. Hope you guys are also starting the week off positive, very bright. And um, for this video today of what I want to talk to you guys about is The Young and the Restless. It turns with new episodes, new shows on August 10th. So let's get right into it. The link will be in the description down below. This is from SoapCentral.com, posted on the 3rd of August, 2020, 11 a.m. this morning, on Monday, beginning this week. And it says, If you've been restlessly waiting for new episodes of The Young and the Rustless to return to the airwaves, your wait is almost over. The CBS Soap has announced they will resume airing all new episodes starting Monday, August 10th. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, the Young Russells was forced to hold production back in March. At the time, the show had about a month of unaired new material, and the last time viewers saw it, original air, original episode one R was way back on April 23rd. Since that time, the Young Russells has been aired weeks of episodes created to a particular theme or spotlight a particular character or family. In this article, uh, it um, reviews the number of weeks that we've been showing of classic episodes, including. Uh, it all when it all started due to Catherine Chancellor uh, dedicating the show, uh, dedicating that week um, of classic one episodes to her. Also, Victor and Nikki's love story, uh, famous grudges and rivalries, the Winners Family, best of uh, best villains of Y and R, the Abbott Family, romantic moments, best weddings, um, Y and R Emmy winning moments. Paul and Christine's romance, fun summer moments, the Fisher and Ballin family, fanfare moments, the Newman family, and for this final week, it's OMG moments, shocking moments of the Young and the Restless. Why not was the second of the four soaps to return to production? The Bold and Beautiful, the first script program in the United States to resume production, began airing new episodes on July 20th, four weeks after resuming production. General Hospital returned to work on July 22nd. But it will begin airing new episodes this week. Days of Lives isn't set to report back to work until September 1st. So, what's on tap when YNR does make its long way of return? Victor and Nikki's family will be threatened by a secret. Billy and Lily will navigate their new partnership with a shocking scandal brewing. Phyllis and Abby driver heats up, and Sharon's family continues to rally around her during her brave battle with cancer. What do you think about YNR dedicating week to its more shocking moments? Which episode are you looking forward to? Are you most looking forward to watching? What themes would you like to see the soap opera air in the future? We would hear from you, and there are many ways you can share your thoughts. So I post a comment down below in the article, sharing your opinion on Facebook, tweeting this, and some main feedback. Um, so I'm glad that YNR is back, uh, and they're going to air a new episode starting next week on August 10th. I'm looking forward to see what happens with not just the new family, but also the other uh, characters on the show. Um, I'm also looking forward to Billy and Lily and how they're going to work together since they are in charge of, of Chancellor um, Industries. Also, uh, Phyllis and Abbott's rivalry, I'm looking forward to. I'm kind of hoping that the two characters at least have a you know frenemy uh, relationship because we're, you know, they don't trust each other at first, but at the same time, you know, they're there for each other as business partners. I think uh, since they both own at the same hotel or, or one of them, I think Abby does own it. Um, as far as you know, the Newman family goes, um, I'm, I do hope that this is going to be the last time we get to see Adam versus the Newman family, because uh, at, at this point, it's just the same old, same old thing. I think that all of them in the Newman family have to move forward together as a unit if they want to succeed and come and go through this um, and go through uh, this uh, latest uh, this latest situation. Uh, I do hope we get to see more of the Abbott family and Jack Abbott too. Kyle and Summer, I'm not feeling them. I kind of felt that the show. I mean, even though if it was headed toward uh, Kyle and Summer. They could have at least uh, done something to break up Lola and Kyle, not not a kiss, but something maybe more dramatic than that. Um, but uh, I'm glad the YNR is back, and I do hope that you know 
at this time, the writing for the show uh, will be much more oriented toward business. And, you know, I don't mind a lot of drama, but, you know, the mean potatoes of YNR has always been a bit, has always been the um, the business side to it, you know, between Jabot, Cosmetics, Newman Enterprises, uh, Chancellor Industries, and so on and so forth. So I do hope we get to see um, more writing geared toward that. And I also want to see more writing for Paul, Christine, Michael, Lauren, their families or friends as well. They deserve to have it. You know, they are a part of this show. You know, and without them, I don't know. I mean, besides the new ones, the animals, I don't know what would happen because um, I think a lot of people will not be interested in seeing just the new ones and the Abbots almost every single day. And also the Winters family. I think there needs to be a resurgence with them. There needs to be a rebuilding phase. What they need to do, I think, is bring back Victoria Rowell either as a new character related to Drusilla and Olivia or bring back Drusilla with amnesia and so that, um, and then take it from there. That's what I would do. Um, but um, overall, I'm glad the show is back, and I wish YNR, the actors, the actresses, the cast, the crew, directors, and everyone else the best in their careers moving forward. But tell me, Council, guys, think about this. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you in the middle? Are you neutral about The Young and the Restless? Returns new episodes on August 10th. And so tell me in the comment section down below. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, share, spread the guru of my channel. And I'll see you guys next time for the next video coming up later on tonight. So be on the lookout for that. Bye, guys.